Hey, what's going on there, guys? You've officially arrived at the 420 Sanitary. We're going to be answering more of your questions in this week's episode of Q&A. But first, show some love and support by watching the entire video, dropping a like, subscribing, and tapping the post notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And also be sure to join us on Patreon for giveaways, tips, one-on-ones, early access, live streams, and a lot of other cool stuff. Link is going to be right down below and in the pin message at the bottom. I was going to make a separate video, but I figured I would just cram this part into this video so I know you guys are probably wondering what's going on here you're not in the studio bro what's going on my dad actually just recovered from surgery I've been kind of keeping it in the dark I've mentioned it a few times maybe on discord on patreon live streams things of that sort but so I'm going to be switching from my studio to my dad's studio that's pretty much where we're at right now so if you see me doing videos in this kind of a setting well that's what's going on I'm visiting my parents helping out my dad with some stuff around the house question number one paint and roll asked can you let me know? I've been at this since first week of May. How long until I see flower? I have pistols. So it usually takes a few weeks until you start to see the flowers, but it's different for every plant and every strain. Some form flowers a lot quicker than others, but around week three of flower is when they're gonna start forming flowers on average. Also, before I forget, all you musicians, especially punk rockers out there, be sure to check out and subscribe to my music channel, Punk Scene. We got music videos, recording tips, reviews, studio demos, things of that sort. So definitely check Check it out. Question number two, Lil Suzuki asks, burnt tips of four weeks veg. My soil's in ocean forest, already giving them some grow big nutrients and pH water, what should I do? Fox Farm nutrients, they're just really highly concentrated and the burnt tips means that you have nutrient burn, which isn't really that big of a deal to correct. I mean, out of all the other deficiencies out there, nutrient burn is really not, it's just not a biggie, you know? So what I would do is just skip a feed and give them water for a little while. So if you do water feed, water feed, go with water, water, feed, water. I personally keep the water pH as close to six as possible. They like it slightly acidic, so shoot between 5.8 and 6.3, so that way your plant's gonna be able to intake a lot of the water-based nutrients like zinc, copper, boron. I'd also start going half strength on the fox from nutrients or anything synthetic because they're hella strong, and you should be flushing at least once a week when you're using salt-based nutrients or mineral-based nutrients, as they like to call it now. Question number three, Eddie asks, what do you think about Dr. Earth organic fertilizer? I've never used Dr. Earth personally or had any experience using Dr. Earth, but from what other people in the community are saying, I've heard nothing but straight up positive stuff, so I would definitely give it a green light based on that. Question number four, Glenn Anderson asked, how many times can you top a plant? You can top them honestly as much as you want. It really only depends on how much room you have to work with and how long you're willing to stay in veg for. But you can top 30 times, you can top 40 times. I mean, that's a little overboard. I mean, if you're trying to fill like a 12 foot by 12 foot on one plan, I mean, more power to you, but me personally, I'm not trying to stay in veg for like six to eight months, you know what I'm saying? So it doesn't matter. Just top as much as you want, as much as you're willing to stay in veg and as much room that you have to work with. Question number five, home of the blue flame asks, what is the best soil recipe? I'm gonna sound like a straight up narcissist saying this, but probably my super soil recipe that I came out with last summer, and I can straight up bag it up. I can, I have a lot of people telling me, oh, you know, this super soil recipe is really good. I've had insanely strong growth using ProMix HP and down the earth organic dry amendments. You can check it out. I made a video on it. Just look up uh, 420 scenes super soil mix and you're gonna find, the, uh, it should probably be the first video that pops up. So I like to use the worm castings by Wiggly Worm and for the down to earth amendments that I use, it's fishbone meal, alfalfa meal, bat guano, crab meal, and kelp meal. And a lot of people even commented on the super soil mix video and had excellent experience with it. All you gotta do is look for a comment section of that video if you haven't tried it out. And and again, just look up my super soil mix. I think I only made one video on it. It's not gonna be the Gaia Green. Make sure to look for the down to earth super soil mix. Question number six, Yep asked, do you have to harvest differently if you're smashing all your product for rosin? Nah, just harvest it the same you normally would. It's a really good question though. Nobody's asked this one before, but just harvest it, dry it, cure it, and press it. Question number seven, Nick Durkowitz asked, what's the highest you've ever been? Okay, okay, this is a really good, this is a really good question. I 
I came out with a life story on this. I passed out in the cornfield and had my friends yell at me, telling me the cops are coming and just threw me in my own van and took me home. And like I said, I made a life story video on it. If you want me to retell that story, drop it in the comments below because it was a pretty wild story and I would love to retell this one. It's actually been a long time since I told that story, so I would definitely be down if you guys want it. Question number eight, Gardens of the Grove asked, what would be a perfect day for you and Brit? I'm talking perfect and no budget favorite strains for each of you. Honestly, it doesn't matter what me and Brit are doing as long as we're together. We can go hiking, we can go fishing, or just straight up gaming, playing some Red Dead online at home and just smoking up. Her favorite strain is Samoa cookies and mine is Sour D, GG4, and Girl Scout cookies. I can't narrow it down to that one. Those are my top three though. And listen guys, if you're in love with someone, it doesn't matter what you guys do together as long as you guys are together. Question number nine, Jackie Moon asked, what are your thoughts on advanced nutrient starter box? I did get a whole starter box from that one guy. Remember I made a video where I got the advanced nutrients hat. I haven't had a chance to use it yet because I'm still on the current run. I was already on my current run when I got my advanced nutrients starter box, but I'm definitely gonna be making a lot of videos letting you guys know what my experience is with it. When I do it, maybe on the next run or the next couple of runs, I'm not really sure yet. Question number 10, Chris Roa asked, I got a few weeks left of flower before I can chop them down and was wondering if there's anything I can do to change the color of the leaves. My recommendation would be to drop the temps to the low 70s during the daytime and mid 60s at night. And I don't know if that's gonna change the color of your leaves per se, but it's definitely gonna help change the colors of your flowers and also is gonna help with getting really tighter colas and with a lot more crystals also. At least that's what I noticed when I dropped the temps on mine. Question number 11, Justin Moore asked, do you dilute your teas before watering? Now, I just brew my teas for 30 to 36 hours and just give it to them like that. I don't really see a need to dilute the teas any further. I mean, 30 to 36 hours is kind of my go-to. Question number 12, Matt Mallory asked, what are the absolute must to keep pests out of a garden and what are your favorite strains to run and why? If there was one product, I mean just straight up one product that I had to pick from to get rid of pests, it would absolutely be Microblift Mosquito Control. That stuff is by far the best pest control stuff out there and I've used a lot of the different pest control products, but Microblift Mosquito Mosquito control, that is the number one, A1 right there, you know what I'm saying? Next would be top dressing with cinnamon and rosemary just because they absolutely hate that shit, okay? As far as strains, anything indica because it helps with some sleep issues that I have and I love being couch locked and just straight chilling. Dude, why is this shit fogging up all the time? Damn. Question number 13, anti-bling designs asks, what's the best long-term storage for flour? Let's say I pull off a nice run of flour that's just for personal use and I got enough flour for many months or even even a year, what's the best method to preserve it longer term? This one, I swear, everyone's gonna have a different answer for this, but I would say get some four or five liter sea vaults and some 62% Bavada humidity packs for like, they're like $20 for a 10 pack on Amazon and you could keep your flowers stored for a long time. So I had my GDP and I grew, I mean, I grew a ton of it, this was an auto flower. I got like 10 to 12 O's per auto and I kept it stored in the sea vaults for, I think it was like half a year and it was, it was still really good flower up until the the end. Sea vaults can run a little bit expensive, but it depends on where you get them. So I don't think I would get it on Amazon. If you have a local hydroponic shop, almost every single hydroponic shop that I've ever been to has the sea vault. So check out your local prices. You should not be paying more than $50 for a four liter sea vault. I think 45, 47.99, that's kind of the standard. Question number 14, Patrick Garland asked, how often do you use microbe lift? I use it every watering, first time six drops per gallon of water and two drops per gallon of water every time after that. It's been super effective and you can add it with nutrient feedings if you want. And that's the only thing that I add with my silica waterings. Last but not least, question number 15, Jenny Reacts asked, out of all the YouTube videos you've created so far, is there one specific video or certain topic that you enjoyed filming the most? Oh yeah, definitely it's gonna be the life stories with gameplay just because they're super funny, entertaining, and I feel like I'm good enough at storytelling where you can actually picture it happening and it's just a lot of fun making them. They're the biggest pain in the ass to make, you know, don't get me wrong on that one, but they're just a lot of fun to make. And my second favorite would probably be the vlogs because they're super spontaneous and I always get a good laugh playing it back when I'm editing them. They're just a lot of fun. So life stories would be my number one favorite type of videos that I make and just the regular vlogs would be number two. And if I had to pick number three, it'd probably be the grow vlogs just because they're grow vlogs, they're cool, you know what I mean? So that's all the time that we have for today. Keep up to date on the community section of our channel because that's where we have all of our Q&A featured questions.
questions. That's where they're always coming from. And also, if there's some kind of update, if there's some kind of change going on with the channel, that's the best place to get all your news and information on the 420 scene. So go to the community section, even if it's, you know, even if it's like once a day or maybe even once a week, just so you guys are staying up to date with what's going on with the channel. So before we close off today's video, I wanna thank everyone on screen who's been supporting us on Patreon. I really appreciate the love and support. So I'm gonna close out today's video. Be sure to drop a fat thumbs up, drop that fat like, and subscribe for more content. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. And as always, stay safe. Peace.